Hello data pros, welcome back to another episode of our DBT series. In our previous videos, we explored DBT materializations, including advanced techniques like incremental and snapshot. In this video, we'll take the next crucial step and learn how to transition our DBT project into a production state. So far, we've been manually running DBT commands like DBT run, DBT test, or DBT build on our local machines. However, in a production environment, manual execution of these commands is insensible. This is where job schedulers come into play. There are various job schedulers available, including Airflow, Dagster, and Perfect. Among these, Airflow stands out as the most popular choice when combined with DBT. With Airflow, we can establish task dependencies, set schedules such as daily, weekly, or monthly, and define execution times for our DBT models. Let's consider that we now have both DBT and Airflow code in place. The next consideration is how to effectively manage multiple team members collaboratively working on the same project or code base. Where should we secure production grade code while team members are simultaneously developing and testing different features or requirements? This is where code repositories like GitHub, Bitbucket, and GitLab come into play. These code repositories enable us to create and maintain multiple version controlled branches of the code base and support seamless code merging between the branches. Typically, the production version of the code is maintained in the main or master branch. From the main branch, team members create feature branches to work on specific features, requirements, or enhancements. Once the code has been tested, they initiate a pull request to merge the changes into the main branch. This process involves team reviews and approvals, with typically solution architects or project managers giving the green light before merging. This entire process, which includes the utilization of a version-controlled code repository, collaborative team development, and the seamless integration of incremental code changes into the main branch, is collectively known as continuous integration, often referred to as CI. The next step in this journey is continuous delivery or CD, which picks up where continuous integration leaves off. Continuous delivery involves automating the deployment of code to production servers immediately after it's merged into the master branch in the code repository. In a typical project setup, there could be one or more test and pre-prod environments before the code is released to production. Several tools are available for setting up these continuous delivery pipelines, such as Azure DevOps, Jenkins, and GitHub Actions. In summary, as part of our productionization journey, we'll practically cover the following key aspects. Implementing Airflow for scheduling DBT and other data engineering tasks. Setting up GitHub as a shared repository for incremental code development and continuous integration. Implementing continuous delivery pipelines with Azure DevOps to automatically deploy code to production whenever there's a code commit to the GitHub main branch. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll demonstrate the process of productionizing our models. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.